Hi guys, welcome to this video about the question could tremors be just a vitamin deficiency and yeah this is actually not a new or not a brand new topic it has been around since a couple of years it just popped out in the last couple of days on a couple of uh, large channels and yeah, I've been viewing them and they were showing uh, good information, but uh, some of the really important things uh, which I think uh, are worth talking about, they didn't show or they di didn't talk about. So I'm trying to cover that now. So the thing is, yeah, when you have vitamin deficiency, so how do, do you react on that? And some were just saying, okay, increase the amount of vitamins and then, uh, yeah, you should be good or could be good. And, but it's actually just working around the, uh, or fighting these symptoms um but actually not trying to solve the root cause and usually the root cause of vitamin deficiency is bad digestion and i mean of course if you have really bad eating habits if you are eating seven days uh in the week uh in at mcdonald's uh with the worst food i mean i'm not saying mcdonald's is everything worst food they have different stuff but i mean there are things which are really not healthy they don't have a lot of vitamins if you're just eating this stuff then you could end up with a uh, vitamin uh especially vitamin b deficiency i mean here it's uh, almost everything is a vi uh, about vitamin b and if you don't have any greens, no salad, no nothing, then you could maybe end up with vitamin B deficiency, of course. I mean, that can always happen. But if you have ruled that out and there's still vitamin B deficiency, of course, you can, um, you can add a lot of vitamin B and maybe it will solve the solution. But the problem is always when you overdose, and your digestion goes back to normal then uh, yeah it's it's it could be basically an overdose which sometimes is not good especially with vitamin b there are some vitamin b's which you can easily overdose which is not good so you have to be really careful with these things uh, they can have a really bad effect on skin and other things. So you have to be really careful just with, with a high dosage of vitamin B. So I think the, the way better solution is to try to find the root cause. And there are several things which I wanted to mention. Uh, first thing, of course, it could be something like you drink chlorinated water. Uh, that will ruin your digestion and your general health, of course, on the long term. That's not, not a good thing. Even if you think it's no problem for you, yeah, it's not good uh, to intake too much chlorine. It's like drinking from a pool almost. I mean, that's uh, that's not a, not a, not a good thing. Your real body uh, is not tolerating too much chlorine at the end. Uh, that's not good. Or I mean, there are other health, uh, unhealthy stuff. Uh, food with, with uh, bad quality, like old food, uh, which has mold or I don't know. I mean, you have to be really careful about that. Uh, only try to good uh, to eat good products. Uh, maybe even try uh, try to save on the amount, but never save on the quality of food. It's really really important. I mean, it could even happen. I've just uh, covered that recently that uh, in your food is too much glycerin. Uh, glycerin is used in so many things today in uh, like uh, all, all these processed foods. Almost everything contains glycerin and glycerin uh, is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's working against constipation. But uh, if you overdo, I mean, you could really end up in um diarrhea and almost permanent diarrhea if you're eating the same products with too much glycerin all the time 
And um, yeah, now my last and actually most important topics, which are actually the main uh, focus of this video. And one thing is if you have problem, I mean, yeah, now let, let's close the other thing. Uh, I mean, if you have really problems, I mean, from, let's say, bad food, you think maybe you are having problem, too much glycerin, uh, things which you hardly can change. Maybe you have to eat at school and they have provided food which is not good for you. I mean, and there's no way to work around. I mean, maybe you can bring food from home if you don't have the possibility. There's always a, a, a possibility to work around that. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's a good solution. I mean, it's not, not really expensive. That's uh, probi pro probiotics. And the really important thing is that you use good quality probiotics. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's really hard to find out which is good. You have to really try uh, maybe one or two or three different brands to find out which one is good. So the one which worked for me always the best is this uh, Bio Schwartz Advanced Strengths Probiotic 40 billion CFU. I mean, it's not 40 billion CFU per capsule. It's 20 billion, but it's still a lot. And it's, uh, it's, it's really a great, great thing. It can change a lot in your life. I can tell you it can change a lot. It's absolutely awesome. What this thing can do if you are suffering from bad digestion and you cannot find out what it is or you cannot work around that this thing can do so much uh, benefit for your digestion and for your overall health and your life it's i mean if you have if you're suspecting that you have a digestion problem try this out i can highly recommend that i mean i'm not uh, affiliated with this company or something like that. I just tried it and I found out this is a really good thing. So actually to my last topic, uh, and this is really a bad thing, which, what happens a lot. And so many people are not aware of that. And this is the acid ref reflux treatment. Uh, like uh, acid reflux, LPR, those things. I mean, there are millions, millions or tens or worldwide hundreds of millions of people probably who are suffering from acid reflux and LPR. I mean, it starts with acid reflux and then usually it turns into LPR if you don't treat it uh, immediately uh, or at least it can. And then what people do which is really, really uh, a bad thing and even worse, actually, they try to lower the acidity means actually they are increasing the pH value and what that causes, they, uh, they decrease of the uh like absorption they de decrease the absorption level for vitamins and minerals so yeah here is something i haven't read that so yeah i think that's that's actually the, the, really the thing which i wanted to tell you taking a proton pump inhibitors it doesn't matter if it's ppi or h2 uh blockers or it's just like uh these tabs uh, which you can take do uh, yeah after meal uh, or other people I mean there are a lot of programs out there even really costly programs for uh, ref reflux and LPR and they recommend to use baking soda to increase the pH level and decrease uh, acidity in your stomach and it's absolutely the same it's no difference to PPI and the thing will do the following taking pro uh, uh, PPI uh, to ease the symptoms of excess stomach acid for more than two years was linked to a 65% increase in the in the risk of vitamin B12 deficiency 
and not only B vitamin B B12, it affects almost everything. Uh, it it is absolutely crazy what it does and what it can cause on the long term on your overall health. It's absolutely devastating. Do not ever take these things. No PPI, no H2 blocker, no um, like baking soda or nothing which changes your uh, stomach acid. The thing is, the crazy thing, even here, the first thing what you find, uh, they are telling you, I mean, this, they say, it's uh, intended to ease the symptoms of excess stomach acid and this is on WebMD. This is crazy. So they, even they, like, uh, they, su I mean, suggest or they, they make you think that you have excess stomach acid while exactly the opposite is the case. Usually it is uh, not enough stomach acid and there are solutions for that and you don't have to take these crazy things which ruins everything and your general health and your whole life there are definitely better solutions for that one of the things is on this website silentrefluxtreatment.com I'm not going into detail that's a natural solution if you are really interested into that but I really tell you, stay away from these things. Try natural things. If you can't find solution for you, this site can help you. It's uh, really cheap. Uh, Thirty, I think it's thirty dollars uh, for lifetime. Uh, but don't don't do this. Um, yeah, don't do this. Uh, PPI. I mean, it's a crazy thing. It's almost a worst thing which you can take. Uh, maybe uh, yeah. apart from cancer treatment, something like that. But this will ruin everything too on the long term. I just wanted to let you know, this is really important to know. Uh, it's not only about adding a little bit of vitamin. Uh, uh, yeah, and, and then it's done. No, uh, I can highly recommend dig deeper, find out what's the cause and if you have LPR, do something like that. If you have just general uh, digestion problem, use something like that. I will put down links to both things, to the uh, probiotics, which is my definitely my favorite. I will put down the link to this and the Silent Reflux website into the description, so you don't have to look it up if you want to use that. So I think that's it for now. I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.